we're setting up for minor window repairs and maintenance. I've set out floor containment. Six mil plastic tape to the mop boards and spread out five feet in each direction. That'll protect the floors from lead containing dust and debris. We'll take a close look at that corner of the sash. Here at the lower corner of the sash paint is peeling down to bare wood. That's usually caused by moisture buildup within the wood. There are a couple of possible sources of moisture here. One is during the winter condensation on the interior surface of the glass dribbles down and seeps into the joint between the glass and the wood and also the joint of the sash itself and then migrates out through the surface of the wood along the joint pushing the paint off. Another likely source of moisture is outside but here the paint and glazing is still doing a pretty good job of sealing the water out. So I think it's okay to focus here just with spot paint maintenance, paying special attention to sealing the joint between the glass and the woodwork, along the rail, and also at the joint between the style and the rail of the sash. I'll do this work leaving the sash right in place. First I'll just wedge it so it doesn't slide and slip around with these little wooden wedges. And one wedge up here at the top as well. That'll hold the sash steady while I work on it. For lead safe operations, I'll mist down the work area, which will help control the lead dust from scraping right here, and also as the lead containing dust and debris falls down to the windowsill and further down on the floor, I'll mist those areas. That'll help trap that lead dust. The next step is scraping. I'll use a sharp edged pull type scraper. It's sharpened on all four edges. It's important to also scrape loose and peeling paint along the top band of the molded edge of the rail. That's where the glass seals to the wood. So we want to have clean wood there for making a better seal. And also cleaning out the joint where the style and the rail of the sash meet. Now with this scraper, 
Really all I can get are the surfaces of the wood. Another kind of scraper that we like to call the crack tool because it's good at cleaning out cracks. It's a reground linoleum. It's important to also scrape loose and peeling paint along the top band of the molded edge of the rail. That's where the glass seals to the wood. So we want to have clean wood there for making a better seal. And also cleaning out the joint where the style and the rail of the sash meet. Now with this scraper, really all I can get are the surfaces of the wood. Another kind of scraper that we like to call the crack tool because it's good at cleaning out cracks. It's a reground linoleum knife and we grind it with this special shape that can reach deep down into joints. So I'll use that to clean out the joint between the glass and the wood and the joint between the style and the rail. Here I'll use the crack tool to clean out that joint between the style and the rail. It's important to get all the junk out of there so that the paint and putty that we'll fill it with will adhere well and make a good seal. See how quick and easy that special tool cleans that joint out. Now I've scraped off all the loose paint and cleaned out the joint. And also the joint between the glass and the wood. There was still some sound putty in that joint so I just cleaned out what was loose. Now since I used a wet process to control the lead containing dust and debris, I'm going to let that sit for about a half a day so that wood can dry out. Now this generated a little bit of lead containing dust and debris here so I'm just going to mist this down. Trapped any loose small dust. and then wipe it off with paper towels. Those go right into a container. So in this way we control the lead health risk by doing spot task cleanup right after and during each task that generates lead containing dust. The first step in painting is an oil pretreatment. This will soak deep into the surface of the bare wood and help the Later, paint, later coatings of paint adhere. 
here's the joint I'm going to really saturate the wood with the oil pretreatment. I want that oil to dribble right down in there and soak in and to all of the inside surfaces of that joint. Drinks it right up. That's good. I'll also catch this little band of bare wood right along the edge of the glass. And I'll just try and make a little more oil soak into the loose joint between the wood and the glass. That'll help stabilize that. loose lazing putty that's in there and a little more in the joint want it to soak deep into that joint so that can set for a day and then it'll be ready for top coats. The next step is to fill the joint of the sash and the joint between the wood and the glass with ordinary glazing putty. This is a linseed oil knife grade glazing putty. So I'll just take a little bit of that and work it deep into the joint. and along the edge of the glass as well. It's not going to take much. And I'll just tool that in place with the putty knife, pressing it down into the joint. Tool off the extra. Tool it back down again so it's smooth. little going up the style. Trim and pack. Trim it, trim it and pack it. clean any off at the surface so it's just in the joint pretty simple so that's putty along the edge of the glass and in the joint between the two parts of the sash no putty on the wood next to the joint, just inside the joint. That'll give something for the paint to bridge over that joint that was open.
finally a little painting I'm giving this a primer coat of linseed oil primer right along the window glass I'm just lapping this paint up onto that glass about 1 16th of an inch and then priming the oiled surface of the bare wood I'll just lap over the old paint slightly sixteenth or an eighth of an inch Slick and quick. And the final step is two top coats of paint. I'll lap that paint just slightly up onto the glass, about one sixteenth of an inch. And then one more top coat and the spot paint maintenance on this corner of the sash is done.